So I think it's an actually really good enabler. We love their NLP quality. So the thing about ChatGPT or even Bard that like Google just right. announced today is that these are all fantastic tools that you could actually plug in as APIs into your app to be able to give like a much more superior user experience right. to people. So, you know, one thing that of course ChatGPT is even its beta version that's available today does not do any search, right? So it's basically pure NLP. So we could really use a chat GPT for a good understanding of intent. Like today our chatbot is constrained because we realize that when people actually free flow type their symptoms out, uh, it's like literally all over the place. They'll talk about their relationship problems. They'll talk about their healthcare issues. Suddenly like random snippets of medical history that really don't make sense are also thrown in. So NLP based engines that need to try and understand intent are just totally thrown off. There's, and that's why we decided to constrain sort of uh, options so that yeah. the accuracy of what comes out of it is very high. Uh, and we're not confused also in like mixed languages, right? People typing in English and Hindi at the same time and stuff like that. Whereas, in fact, chat GPT's APIs could help us go a long way in providing a more natural experience to our users with respect to the symptom type of.